Jackie, along with our good friend Kim Bear in studio with us from the Bear Law Office to talk about some things uh, that you need to know about when it comes to the law. And this one here is uh, most unusual. Yes. Uh, talking about and it, it's statute. Yes, statute, Sh not statue, statute. Okay. Of yeah, we just had that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, this has come up in headlines recently on a uh, national front. We don't want to get into that, but we do want to talk about what that means and how that can affect us and in, in things that happen in the state of Iowa. Right. So every state has um, a, their own set of laws with regard to the statute of limitations. And what the statute of limitations is, is it's, it's a bar. It says if you have been hurt or if you have a claim or someone's breached a contract, with you, you have to bring that claim within a certain amount of time. And, and it varies stat state to state. You know, sometimes when we're working on a case and maybe there was a car accident in Minnesota or Illinois, I mean, the first thing we do is we look up what's the statute of limitation in Illinois or Minnesota. Because uh, wherever the action occurred, that's going to be the statute of limitations that's going to govern. That's going to overrule. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so the sad thing is, is that we have a lot of people that call into our office and, and they'll tell us the facts of what's going on and they have a good case. Maybe they were in a car accident or maybe um, something went wrong with regard to a medical procedure that shouldn't have gone wrong. And uh, but they wait too long. And so they call and we say, oh, gosh, you know, when did it happen? Well, it happened two and a half years ago. Well, I'm sorry. You know, you're you're really out of luck because you really you have two years on personal injury. And so two years includes um, for personal injury includes dog bites, car accidents, uh, medical malpractice. Um, so anything where you've been slip and fall, anything where you've been injured. Okay. Why so. does statute of limitations exist? Oh. Is, is that just because, so you know, 20 years later, you can't be like, you know, yeah. I well, feel, I mean, why do they even exist? Yeah, well, if you think about it, Jackie, um, one of the things that we want to make sure, we want to make sure that our, our litigation system and our justice system is fair to everyone. And so let's just say that, you know, that you are in a car accident with Lou and you wait three or four years and then you bring a claim against him. Well, maybe there was a witness and now you guys can't find the witness because you waited too long. Or, um, or maybe there was a slip and fall and now the employees don't work there anymore. So that's really the purpose. Okay. We want to make sure that it's fair to you. You can get your witnesses and your evidence, but it's also fair to Lou. And he, likewise, if he wants to dispute your claim, um, we haven't waited so long that it's almost impossible to prove who's right and who's Some wrong. Some of the players might be gone. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, employees move on. Uh, sometimes witnesses die. Sometimes evidence, if, you, if it's not preserved, you know, then you're not going to have it. So that's really the whole point of the statute of limitations. Okay. And it's, does the court take in consideration if someone is running in a claim like hours before their time is up is that seen as like wait a minute why did you wait this long in order to file your paper uh, no not really as long as you get it in under the deadline then you're That's in all they care. then you're in does now, that happen very often oh uh, yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get a call sometimes and it may be days before the statute of limitations and so we have to sit there and say okay do we have time to put together the because we have to file a petition or a complaint right. do we have time to throw it all together and make sure that we know who we're suing and sometimes we do and sometimes we don't um, you know it's it, if somebody calls in there what I call a last minute Lucy um, that it makes it more difficult makes it more difficult for the client makes it more difficult you know for the lawyer because you know, so for example a car accident um, not only would we want to sue the person who caused the accident but we also might want to sue the driver or the uh, owner of that car um, and so do we know who that is do we have a copy of the police report if you didn't get a copy and your statutes gonna run here in a few days how quickly can I get a copy mm -hmm. um, same thing with regard to medical records you know these days it takes you know usually four to six weeks to get medical records so if somebody comes in and says, hey, you know, I've got a me medical negligence claim and it looks good, not only do we have to get the medical records, but then we also have an obligation, um, at least in our office we do this, we have an expert review it before we file a lawsuit okay. because we want to make sure there truly is a claim. Right. Okay, so, so the injury and, and that aspect of it in any way, shape, or form, that's two years. It's two okay. years, okay. but I probably, you know, there's always an exception. And so the exception here is called the discovery rule. Um, and what that means, and typically that might come up with regard to a medical negligence mm -hmm. claim. Um, so let's say, uh, let's say that uh, you have an operation, you have your appendix out, and they leave a sponge in you. And so, you know, you're recovering, recovering, and you, you feel pretty good, but every once in a while maybe you feel kind of a pain, and you're thinking, well, you know, I'm not quite sure what that is. And you keep going back to the doctor saying, well, is this normal? And at some point, um, you find out, maybe, maybe you find out 
about three years later with regard to, you know, that there was a sponge in there, um, or uh, three years later that something was done wrong. Um, what the discovery rule says is that the statute starts to run not necessarily from when the, sur the first surgery was performed, but when you knew or reasonably should have known that there was a problem. And that, that kind of language always scares me. Um, so I always try to say, okay, you know what, I think it needs to be two years. But there are exceptions to the rule because, um, because if you, there's no way you would have known or maybe you're treating with the doctor and the doctor's going, no, that pain's normal, that pain's normal, that, pa that pain's normal. And then you find out, no, actually it's not. I, there's something else that happened here. Um, but so there is a discovery rule. So that would be the time. That, that would the be the time. That would be the time when you knew or when you reasonably should have known. And so that's what always is an issue: is when you should you reasonably should have known. You know. So um, and so there are situations where you can go past the two years if you fall into yeah. the exception. Okay. So. Are there some other dates that we should keep in mind yes. when it comes to this? Yes. Um, so let's talk about contracts. So right. a written contract um, is ten years. So if you've got a written contract and that runs not from the date that you signed the contract. That runs from the date of the breach. So, for instance, let's say that um, that you're going to do lawn care for Lou, and so you guys sign a contract, and you say, "Okay, I'm going to be over there every Monday, and I'm going to cut right. your lawn." And so you, the contract goes on for five years, and then maybe you start missing Mondays, but he's already paid you. Maybe he pays you in advance. You're the breach of contract, Lou. You could sue Jackie, and it's if you've got ten years to sue her, and it goes from the date that she stopped cutting your lawn, got not it. from when you first signed the contract. Okay. So that's when that's when your action accrues. But that's is what we talk that's about. That's a written contract. That's a written contract. An oral contract is five years. So it's shorter amount of time. And again, the reason for that is because we're going to have to prove the terms of the contract. There might be witnesses, and mm -hmm. so that's the reason why the the statute of limitations is shorter. Wow. So, which yeah. one is tested the most uh, uh, in your practice? Which one do you find? Uh, I, I think the personal injury, I think when, when somebody's trying to apply the discovery rule, I think that's the one, that's always the one that gives me the heartburn. Um, and that's the one that I'm always looking to see, you know, if there's a new Supreme Court case on the discovery rule, what are they saying? What is the standard for when somebody should have reasonably known that there was an issue? So, right. so I think that's really the one that's the most litigated. Um, Let's see, and then uh, there's a, if you want to sue somebody for fraud, that's five years. That's a five year? That's a five year statute of limitation. The other thing that, um, that I think we should talk about too is uh, there's an exception if, if it involves a child. So let's say that a child is in a car accident and a child's hurt. Okay. Um, the way that, that that works is that the child typically would have two years just like everybody else, um, but if they're under the age of 18, hence they're a child, um, then the statute of limitations can go up to age 19. So if you, if you have someone in your okay. family that was under the age of 18 that was hurt in a car accident and they just never brought a claim and they're still under the age of 19, you might still have a claim. So even if they were injured at say 12 or 13 yes, years old, exactly. it would exactly. last that long. It would last that 19. long. It would last until wow. they turn 19. Until they become yes. An adult. Now we typically still use the two-year statute of limitations because usually the parents have a claim for lost wages, and there's medical bill claims that the parents need to get paid, and then um, we also have loss of consortium claims, and all of the parents' claims are two years. So because we don't want to bring two lawsuits, we typically you know roll it, it all into once. one. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes you know you'll have people call and they'll say, you know, my child was in a car accident and we're just not quite sure, you know, maybe he's having some issues, sometimes it may be a head injury, um, we're not sure how serious it is, so we don't want to bring a lawsuit just yet, we want to wait and kind of see what's yeah. going on, so you've got those types of things. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is then we also have what's called a statute of repose, and what that is, is that's a time frame that, that just says, you know, it's cut off. It doesn't matter. You can't go any longer. And so, a good example of that would be um, when you uh, when you have you, uh, I think it's six years for your sponge case. Okay. So, if you have a case, and let's say you had surgery in 2000, um, your the statute of repose might say, you know what, by 2006 you're done. Um, and so, there's a statute of repose also for building and, and construction cases. And I think you know I'd have to double check on this, but I'm pretty sure it's 15 years. I know uh, there's always legislation every. Year to try and make it shorter, um, and so it might be shorter now. Might now, have been what do you mean by that with building? Um, what that means is, let's say, let's say you're my home builder and you build me a house, and um, three years into it, I find out that the roof was constructed fault. It, there's a fault with it, and and I've tried everything to fix it, but actually, it needs to be torn off and maybe you know re-roofed and something like that. 
So I have a claim against you, but um, but the question is, is you know, when did I find out? I mean, has it just been? Was it a slow leak? Because sometimes you know, with water, it'll go down the walls and everything, and it'll be a while before you find it. Um, and so the statute of repose says that no matter, let's say I didn't find out about it until eight years later, and now right. I'm going to sue. If the statute of repose is five years, I'm out of luck because it just says from and the who date. And claims that, the court or? Um, or the, and the builder, and the builder. Can say that as well. Yes, yes, so oh. the builder will come in. So it's just, it's tricky. You mm -hmm. just, the, you know, I just tell people all the time, you know, it, it, you, sh you can call a lawyer. If you've already got a lawyer, call your lawyer. I mean, it doesn't cost anything usually to call a lawyer and just say, here's what happened. Right. What's my statute of limitations and do I have a claim? So, uh, okay. don't be a last minute Lucy. No. <laughs> Whenever anybody does w want to file a lawsuit, is that your first step? Do you, is that the first thing you check is the statute? Yes, of that's the first thing. Yeah. When people call into my office and they're telling us what happened, we always say, when did this happen? You know, mm -hmm. um, if it was a surgery, when was the surgery? It was a car accident. When was the car accident? And sometimes, you know, it, you know like I said, sometimes we get calls and it's five or five, ten days before the statute of limitations. And literally somebody at my office is going, can you hold on? Kim, do we have time? <laughs> right. And as yeah. we talked about in previous segments, uh, that's why you need to document things as yes. well so you have those answers when you, you do. do make that phone call. If people need to be calling you because yeah. then maybe they have some questions, what's the best way to do so? Sure, just give me a call at 279-2000. Uh, we offer a free 30-minute consultation on all of the cases. So, and we have free parking. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Perfect. That's perfect. Wonderful. Yes. Great job. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, there guys. There you go.